Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. And if you're new here, well that's exactly what I do do. Now today I'm really excited to be looking at a new uh, video transmission system from Axoon. And it's the Axoon uh, Cineview SE. And this is a box for it. I don't do unboxing videos, so that's going to go on the floor. Um, and here it is, the actual kit. Now, it come, the kit comes with one transmitter and one receiver in the box. So you've got your two units. So I've got the aerials actually fitted to them. And they're really, really compact. Each unit only weighs 210 grams. So, you know, combined, no weight at all. These are easily fit on even the smallest of mirrorless cameras. I've actually got another kit that they've sent me, uh, identical kit but I'm actually transmitting the signal from my uh, Canon R7 over there at the back of the studio, and that's transmitting the signal to a whole host of devices. You might be able to see one of the devices here it's transmitting the signal to my uh, small aperture uh, monitor. I've got the rig mounted to the back there. So you can see the rig is mounted to the back of the monitor, and there it is transmitting the live signal to my monitor here in the studio. So uh, very, very flexible, fantastic piece of kit. Um, and it takes conventional sort of aerials you would find on drone kits, uh, walkie-talkie kits and whatever. So if you do damage any of the aerials, then uh, you can easily get replacement aerials, not a problem. The kit does come with one spare aerial. Um, as you can see that's the aerials. You literally just screw them into the connections on the top of the unit and you're ready to go. Maybe just screw into there, and then that's basically uh, the kit, four aerials. It's a dual band system, hence the reason why you have four aerials on the actual kit. So it transmits on the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz frequencies, and it automatically switches between those frequencies. So you're assured of getting the very best signal that you possibly can across long distances. Now, in line of sight, the manufacturers say it will work up to 1200 feet if you're in line of sight. Now, to be honest, it's not very often you're gonna be in line of sight when you're using this sort of kit, uh, but that is the uh, you know transmission range if you are. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, that will be a second video when I go out and test the range. Also, apparently, you can connect two different kits, as I've got this kit, uh, this uh, kit here. I've also got the kit that I'm actually transmitting the signal to, as you can see here on uh, my monitor. So you can actually pair the two together for lots of additional features. And I'm gonna do that again in a second video. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Now, these are really simple to set up. And I'm really, really impressed with how Axoon have made the simplicity of setting it up. Now, to set it up, they work straight out of the box. Now, I haven't gone through any of these functions. Let's put a battery on. It takes a standard Sony uh, MPF NFP batteries uh, that we have here. Uh, there's, they come in all shapes and sizes, the small ones, big ones, fat ones, and what have you. Um, so we'll put one of those on. Obviously, the bigger the battery, the longer the uh, time you have for you know transmission purposes. You can also power it off a USB-C power block. You can see on the side of the unit there, it's got a USB-C connection. It's also got a, a DC input as well. So if you want to power it that way, you can plug in a DC adapter if you want to do it that way. This kit works straight out of the box. You don't need to configure anything. I think that is great. All you need to do is make sure on the side, you've got the channel settings uh, for both a transmitter and a receiver set to the same channel. Other than that, you're good to go. I haven't done anything with it. On the front though, you do have a whole range of uh, display settings. It tells you battery strength, what channel you're on, um, signal strength, so on and so forth. So that'll just uh, power up. It takes a few seconds for that to boot up. Once it's booted up, then uh, you're ready to go. And the signal strength is really, really good. And also, the stability of a signal, I think, is excellent. Um, you can see there's a whole range of uh, uh, settings on there. It tells you virtually everything you need to know. Um, that's both on the transmitter and the receiver. But I found the stability of this unit absolutely brilliant. 
uh, really, really good. As I say, I've not tried it over long distances, but I've tried it over reasonable distances, and it is excellent. So what I'm going to do is go through some of its features now. I've already said it transmits on a 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz frequencies, so you get a really good signal strength. There is virtually no lag with these units. Apparently, it's 50 milliseconds, but I don't think it's even that. Uh, you know, if you can see, if you look at the um, monitor here, uh, you, you can see there, there is virtually no, um, there's virtually no lag. As I do that, you can see it on the monitor. Um, in fact, I can see that clearly, but there is no lag. It is absolutely brilliant. Now, what I also love about this particular device, I'm actually transmitting uh, to various devices at the moment. So I've got my aperture monitor here. You can see that's just a standard monitor. Um, and it's transmitting to that, which is great. And I can see it's receiving the audio. You can see the audio level displays on the monitor here. So it is receiving the audio. Um, also, the camera is obviously transmitting the audio, which is, which is great. Now, you may well find that that's all you need is a monitor at the other end. So you've got the transmitter on the camera and you've got monitor at that end. But some people will need more than that. You might have a producer, art director, you may have various other people that actually want to see what it is, you know, you're filming and how it's coming out. So you can transmit it to an iPad. I've got, I've got my little iPad mini set up here and you use the app. So you download a free app. It's the Axoon, I think it's Axoon C or the Axoon Go. So you download the Axoon app and all you do is set up the Wi-Fi. Now, the unit creates its own Wi-Fi hotspot, does that automatically, make sure your, uh, either your mobile phone or your tablet is on that Wi-Fi hotspot, put the password in, which is in the manual, and then you're good to go. Load up the app and it works brilliantly. You can also record using the app. So it'll record the signal and that is also fantastic, you know. Um, so I'm not actually recording the signal on my iPad, but it will record the signal and you've got all sorts of um, features here on the app. So you've got your, uh, you can check your white balance, you can check your focus peaking, just tap the tap. You're not going to be able to see that, I know, but so you tap the little head and that'll bring up the focus peaking features. So you can see that you might be able to see there a red outline around the different um, uh, around my face and what have you. You've got audio level controls, you've got uh, a zebra, uh, you've got false colour. Um, let's bring up the audio meters. Uh, actually, the audio meters I've already set up. You can see the audio meters are there. That's coming off the app, that. So, um, very, very nice app. So, you can actually turn your iPad or your Samsung tablet or any brand of tablet into a professional monitoring. Uh, scenario that is brilliant and you can also record on it now you can do live streaming with the uh, Cineview SE it will transmit a signal to the uh, in this case the iPad or your iPhone or your Samsung phone and you can live stream from the app and I think that is brilliant it does it in HD so it receives it as a HD signal the same as it does on the monitor so the output from the transmitter is a HD and also it's a HD receiver on the actual um, unit if you're just receiving it to a monitor. Um, but the other great thing is, I've also got it sending a signal to my Mac, so my laptop. So you can set up uh, the Axoon app through the Apple App Store, download that and you do exactly the same thing. Make sure you set to the Wi-Fi hotspot and then lo and behold, you have your, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show that very clearly, but, um, I'm actually, because I've got so many cables connected to it. And let's do it this way round. We'll have to show it that way round. And I am actually recording this uh, to the MacBook Pro using um, the app. But also, the app has got the same features as what the um, tablet has. So you can actually check your white balance. You can check all the other functions, histogram. You can check so many different features uh, using the um, app on the computer or the app on your tablet. And you can see, actually you might be able to see, that my Canon HDMI output is actually outputting the uh, focus box. It's actually not a clean HDMI output because that's how I've got it set up. I would normally use an Atomos recorder to actually record the output from the camera. But 
if you're using this sort of transmitter, you don't need to do that. I just connect it to me iPad mini or connect it to me computer and record it that way. Also, I've got a HDMI coming out of my uh, laptop to a much bigger screen. So I can see, you know, clearly what's going on. And that is also brilliant. So there's many things, but this kit has tremendous advantages for monitoring and recording purposes. Now, I know it's only recording a HD signal, but all my videos are uploaded to YouTube in HD. So that doesn't worry me at all. It's only transmitting a HD signal as opposed to, um, you know, a 4K picture. And I think, you know, that is absolutely fine. Also, if you're in an environment where you're doing vision mixing, you could also find it really useful to have a wild camera set away. You don't have to run uh, long leads. In fact, you can't run long HDMI leads anyway. Uh, so, you know, you can put the transmitter on top of the camera and transmit the signal to the, you know, to the receiver. And instead of the receiver going into the monitor, which is what I've got here, as I said earlier, you can see that, you know, that monitor is there and I've got the receiver going into that monitor. That could conceivably easily go into, you know, a HDMI switcher, HDMI mixer. So there's so many things that this can do that is, um, you know, really, really useful. And the fact that it's only 210 grams per unit, you put those in your kit box and you're not gonna, you know, have any problems with weight. They're really good. So flexible with power supply, you know, um, and they're just great, great little units. Extremely well made, you know, very, very well made. And as I said, you can replace the aerials if you find the aerials do get damaged. I think probably if anything is going to get damaged over a period of time, it will be the aerials or you'll lose the aerials because obviously as you take the aerials off to put in your bag, you may well lose, you know, aerials. So they're so easy to buy, you know, they're easy to get on Amazon or whatever. Now, I will put links in the description of this video where you can get further information about Axum products and this particular product and where you can buy this product from. So it's well worth taking a look at those links. Um, I will put those in the description of the video. So there we go. That's the Axum uh, CineView SE dual band uh, receiver stroke transmitter. Uh, in the kit, it comes with both. So you've got the receiver and the transmitter. They do a whole range of different kits. So it's well worth looking at their product range so you can see what sort of kit would benefit you. Now, you can transmit the signal up to four devices and they don't have to be the same device. So that is also incredibly flexible. So as I say, I'm transmitting at the moment to three devices. So I'm trans transmitting the signal to me uh, monitor that you can see here. So that's great. That's one of the devices that's receiving the signal. Me iPad, which is receiving the signal and my laptop that's receiving the signal. Now, the latency between all three is pretty much exactly the same. Um, I'm not noticing really any difference between uh, the latency between the monitor or the iPad or the Mac. So it's three totally different devices and it's working great with all of them. I think over a longer distance, I'm pretty sure because the Wi-Fi signal will drop out. So I'm pretty sure the latency will be much better transmitting to the receiver that comes with it rather than transmitting over Wi-Fi because, you know, Wi-Fi is going to drop out, isn't it? It's not going to transmit at such a long range as it does using um, the actual receiver. So, you know, uh, that's what I think anyway, but I haven't tested it, that yet. That will be in a second video when I can get outdoors and it isn't uh, piddling down with rain as it has been for days now. So, um, yeah, there we go. Great piece of kit. And I really would like to thank Axum for sending me the kit for review and for using. We will be using it in real world environment as well. I've got a colleague that is going to be taking it on a job to test it out there. I'll let you know how he gets on. Uh, he's going to actually be connecting it to a vision mixer. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on with that. Um, and I will be doing a second video, as I say, uh, looking at how well it works uh, at distances using the Wi-Fi going to uh, something like my iPad and also using the uh, receiver going into a monitor. So that you can even actually feed that signal into something like an Atomos recorder. So, you know, because that takes HDMI, HDMI in, uh, you could use something like the Ninja Blade or one of the cheaper Atomos recorders, even the Ninja Star. Actually, I never thought of that. I could have plugged the Star on top of that and recorded the HD signal 
coming into it. So tremendous flexibility with this kit. Very powerful piece of kit. So yeah, you know, I'm really, really excited to be able to use this kit. Now the Cineview SE kit has both SDI and HDMI in and out, which is great. I'm using HDMI because the cameras I'm using only have HDMI output. But if you're in a broadcast environment, you will find cameras have SDI output. So on the actual unit, uh, let's uh, grab a unit that isn't wired up. That's going to be easier to show you, isn't it? So. Uh, for example here, this is the transmitter denoted by the T on the bot on the side there. And you see it's got SDI out and it's also got HDMI out. So you can take either or uh, to, you know, from the camera, but also on the receiver, it's either SDI out or HDMI out. So you've got the best of both worlds with these transmitters. And I think that is really, really good. Also, they're silent running, so you don't pick up fan noises. So if this kit is mounted somewhere near a microphone, even on board camera microphone or something like that, it's not going to pick up a fan noise from the unit. They run silently, and I think that is great. I mean, I've got a big battery on the back of this one. It is turned on, but absolutely no noise from that at all. So there we go. That's the Axon Cineview SE kit, fantastic piece of kit. I really would like to thank Axon for sending me the kit for review. Really, really appreciate that. And as I said earlier, if you do want to find out more information or you want to uh, buy, buy them, use the links in the description below. So thanks very much. Stay tuned for more videos related to video photography, podcasting, so on and so forth. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And if you like the content of this video, please hit the like button. I really appreciate all of that because it helps me grow the channel. And if you have any comments about this kit or anything you'd like to know, please leave any comments in the comment section. So cheers for now. Thanks very much. Bye.